people can reach their goal based on the, what they want, not based on people's expectations. And this is my why. So basically, I spent my childhood moment in Turin, but if you didn't hear before, you can go check on Google Maps. But actually, Turin still in Malang Regency in Southern Malang, but it kind of like us, I just grew up in the village. So basically, I grew up in the big family, which is I have a, both of my parents and also my sister. So basically, my parents always taught me about love and loyalty. So that's why I just live in peace with my sister. I started my education when I was four years old until five years old. Because the funny is, um, when I was a child, I love talking in front of the mirror, especially talking in English, but it's not the English basically, until my parents see that my potential in the communication. So that's why my parents asked me how about to join English courses when I was young. So that's why I take English course when I was in four years old until senior high school. But the good thing is that I take English department as my major. So you can imagine English is my soul. I start join any some competition, especially in English, and I got collect a lot of some trophies and also achievement. But the main point of my life is that when I was graduated in university, I'm as a one of the top four as a student with the cum laude. So that's why I never expectation that um, I can be the one of the top four as a cum laude at the time. Sometimes people didn't realize ridicule is such as bullying. So I got a verbal bullying when I was in elementary school. Um, I still remember that when the people thinking I cannot play football basically. So that's why all of my friends in elementary school call me I'm like a female at the time. So that's why it makes me um, really heartbreaking at that time because I'm as a, you know, children in elementary school really sensitive about it and people thinking about like that. So that's why they expect I can reach my dream because I can be real man based on their expectation. So that's why until I decided and realized that all the people around you is not really supporting who you are. So until I decided to thinking about a dream. And the next is really changed during year by year um, until I got and joined basically joined some lot of competition and also um, in 2017 I'm also as a one of the finalist campus ambassador in University of Bawijaya. And in the next year in 2018 will be bring me as a one of the Master Ceremony Bawijaya Fashion Week, which is the best, uh, one of the biggest event at that time. So it's kind of the biggest memorable event that I can join in that time. So basically you have to know that I never joined any agency whatsoever. So I just called, I have my own management, which is my family. And my parents basically always taught me, you know, to prepare everything. And also my sister as my time management. They always believe to me that I have to put out everything that I have and to show to the people about my skills because they see it's a talent. But I ne until I never expect that it's really my talent because at that moment, I feel like it's not my talent basically. I feel like a little bit give up, I'm not optimistic, but doing day by day until right now, I think this is my real passion basically. At that time, I realized like um, I'm really doesn't realize that this is my passion basically. But until time by time, um, until right now, I just realized that this is about my passion. And, and also it changed me when I take my first career in my first company that I joined before. Um, it bring me kind of the different people and the different person. So until I got a lot of talk show too, and also with an interview with some media and also talking with a lot of people in the public. So kind of the best, best experience that I never have. 
So until my highlight is that um, in 2019, if I'm not mistaken, or 20, in early 2020, um, I got one of the media basically talking about me. So they just put a title is the my career, my journey of my, yeah, which is that. They called my name. So it's kind of um, such an honor for me because I'm still 22 years old. I mean, like I can share to the people that I can give the positive vibe. It's not about, oh, I just being famous or I kind of be, um, all the people know me, but it's not about that at all. It's about, I can share that the young man in 22 years old can give a positive vibe and also to share um, um, the good impact to other people. I know every people have different goals for which their life but the one thing you need to be understand is that people can reach their goal based on their, what they want not based on people expectations and this is my vibe